Hi friends! So, I have been on my own for about seven days now. I've been spending so much time on my own recently. I wish I just stood here like cut my boobs, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I have been spending so much time on my own and I'm going a little bit crazy. Like I get to the point where I'm sat on the sofa and I'm like, mm, am I hungry? Yeah, let's just go to the fridge. But I say that out loud, I don't just say that in my head, like I say it out loud. And apparently that's not normal. <laughs> So, today I've decided, oh my god, my zip is down as well, what a mess, what a, what a mess it's all this video. I am pooing myself for this, to be completely honest. I'm going to the cinema on my own. I don't know why this stresses me out so much, but it really, really does just freak me out. I think it's because when I see someone at the cinema on their own, I know no one else does this, well, I don't know if everyone does this, but whenever I've mentioned this to a friend, they'll be like, oh, I don't think that, and I'm like, okay, so am I just like majorly judging in my head? When I see someone at the cinema on the road, I'm like, oh, like, I wish I could go tell them to come sit with me, like, so I've got someone to sit with. And I'm like, they probably want to be there on their own, do you know what I mean? Like, why do I, why do I assume I have no one to go with? Maybe they just want to have, like, a nice little date on their own. I love to go to the town on my own, I love to go to a coffee shop on my own when I can even do, that can, that, that's fine. This cinema freaks me out. You know what, I'm gonna make some food, so I'm gonna talk and make food while we're at it because I do wanna get some snacks at the cinema. I'm gonna like go all out and get some snacks and stuff, but I don't want to be absolutely starving because obviously the cinema's like an arm and a leg to even go. I'm gonna just have one of these pasta and sauces, which I know is, oh sugar. That's probably naughty. Ah! I'm gonna have cheese and broccoli. I get really lonely. Okay, I'm a lonely girl. <laughs> and my issue is though, is that I get lonely, but once I fight past the loneliness, I am really unsocial. I don't know if anyone gets what I mean by that. So like, for the first few days when I'm on my own, I get really sad and I'm like, oh, I wish I had someone to do something with. Like, I wish I could like go around my friends or whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then after like a few days of doing that, then I get really, really used to my own company. And then I just don't ever want to go out ever again. <laughs> Which is a bit of a toxic bit of thing, but it's what I do. So it has been a few days of me not speaking to another human, like, out loud. And I do think as well, it's really good to... How much do I need this? I do think it's good to be able to go and have fun on your own. It's a good skill to have. I've not mastered it yet, but I'm hoping enough tonight I'll master it because I would love to feel fully content just going and doing something on my own. I'm okay in the house on my own, but when I have to start going out and about and doing all these things on my own, it freaks me out a little bit. And I know a lot of people like watch me also kind of live on their own and stuff, so... Or maybe I haven't got like a, a friend group which always goes out all the time and stuff. So I thought I would just ask myself, basically I'm doing this thing where every month Every month I have to do something new, like push myself out of my comfort zone. So like January was, I went on an acting course like on my own. February was like I went bouldering and rock climbing. And then March is going to be going to the cinema on my own. So yeah, but also I'm not fully on my own for now taking news, which is already making me feel a little better. It's, you know what it is? Well, I think I want to get there early because I, it's the thought of, and I know this is so silly and I don't know why I'm thinking like this, but it's the thought of everyone being sat down and me coming in with my popcorn and my nachos and I was in my ice blast on my own, squeezing past everyone and then just going and sitting on my own and, and, then, and then people sitting and thinking, oh bless her. No, I'm empowering myself and going sitting on my own. I'm also going to see Avatar, so, so the movie lasts for like three and a half hours, so I'm going to have to get used to it. So I have to kind of basically just do it. Oh, oh sugar. It's three o'clock now, the film starts at ten past five. I think I'm gonna leave at about half four so that I can check in, <laughs> check in the cinema, get some snacks, and I want to get seated and stuff. Be there for the previews and yeah, should be fun. I'm not going to see it in 3D just because 3D always really hurts my eyes. So I thought going in 3D probably isn't the best thing to do when, I'm, when my eyes are, just get quite sensitive. So I'm just gonna go see it in 2D. I'm also gonna get my, let myself get some snacks because I think, why not? Why not get snacks? And at least it's not like a funny film because I was gonna go see What's Love Got To Do With It, but I ended up seeing that the other day, but I was gonna go see that. And then, so glad I didn't, because I was creased during the whole film. And I was obviously laughing and looking at myself with it, like engaging and stuff, and I was just laughing on my own. I think I went to go see a comedy on my own, I was just sat there in the corner, like crying with laughter on my own. That would be so sad. 
I like to engage in the in the laughter with someone else. I've been making myself, I know it's gonna sound pathetic and I understand that I'm a freak. I've been putting on a playlist, okay? My friend Freya's made this playlist, so I've been putting this playlist on every day that I've been on my own and like making myself have like a little bit of a boogie. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> it really releases the endorphins, like, and I'm not even joking. Like, if you're ever sad, okay, put on some banging songs and just like force yourself to have a good time today and like sing along. Because it really does just make you feel so much better about life and stuff. It makes you feel a bit less lonely. It also kind of romanticizes about being alone. Like, when I'm alone, I'm listening to music and I'm like dancing around. I'm like, I couldn't do this if someone who just sat there. I couldn't be a complete freak. I'm like, how are you on your own? So, there is some good, there is some good thing. Oh, sugar. There is some goodness to it. So, Take what you will. My issue is though, is that because I'm on my own, I replay the same songs about 13 times. So I'm obsessed with Daisy Jones and the six at the moment, right? In their song, I played it 18 times this morning. I wouldn't do that if Liam was in or had someone around because obviously no one wants to listen. Everyone else has got normal brains and doesn't want to listen to the same song 18 times. But um, not me. I love Sam Claflin. What a talented man. Oh! Decided that sorry, I'm just rubbing in some cream. If anything, going through on my own means I can kind of look a bit like a scruff and it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some like skincare on, maybe do my eyebrows. Because what is the point in putting on a nude lip and some mascara and like a face full of concealer if like I'm literally going to sit in a dark room on my own. <laughs> Obviously other than for myself, but like I'm not that bothered myself, do you know what I mean? So I'm just putting some SPF on, which I do every day. I use the Avene 50 SPF. It's my favorite, it's so nice. Am I gonna put any makeup on? I know what I'll do. I might put on a little bit of the NARS concealer pot. I know I just said that I don't need to, but I'm gonna do anyways. Just on my spot areas, I think. I always get loads of scars like under my nose and on my chin. No matter what I do, it don't seem to go. It drives me insane. Just to snap my face a little bit more. I mean, the cinema I'm going to is probably like the worst cinema in Manchester. It's not, but if anyone knows Manchester, it's the cinema in Deansgate Road, right? And it's literally, it feels like you're in a simulation. Like, it's so weird. It's like the largest building ever. In the full first floor is nothing. It's just a room. And you walk in there and you feel like, I'm either going to get killed or not. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Like, I don't understand why it's made that way. But I'm going at that one, so it shouldn't be that busy. All right, I knew I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm just going to put a tiny bit on. I'd like to put a lip stain on just to make my lips look a bit cuter. Cuter? I hope I have a really good time at the cinema because I think like once you once you master this kind of thing, I'll feel so much better about doing it in the future. I'm so late to see Avatar as well. Like it's literally been out for the longest time. I'll do. It's actually been out for the longest time and I've still not really seen it. Like, it's why am I taking so long to see it? It's only on for, I think, a few more days, so I've literally left it as long as I possibly can. I prefer my hair up, but I'm thinking in a cinema for three hours, like, is it going to give me a headache? It's also a bit greasy. I'm just thinking if I'm resting against the, the head thing at the back, the head thing, the chair, is it going to hurt my head if I have a big bobble at the back? Oh, God. A little bald patch always shows when I... Put my hair like this. That looks a bit more presentable, I think. Does it? I'm <laughs> not too sure. It's 3.43, I've got so much time. That, also, that dinner made me feel really sick. I feel like it wasn't a good choice to have before going to the cinema. I'm still, don't worry, I'm still gonna buy snacks. 
but uh, I feel horrendous. I think I need a nap. I'm really tired today. Good thing I'm going to cinema at five o'clock because it's obviously three and a half hours. If I was going any later, I think I would not because there was another time that started at eight. I wouldn't get done till like half eleven, twelve. Then by the time I got back home, it's like absolutely not. <laughs> Here do they think I am? Also, if I'm going on my own, I'm going to have to get back on my own too. So that could potentially be scary. Right, what do you wear at the cinema? when you want to be really comfy. I'm thinking I could wear my romper. I think that would look cute. Let's try it on. Okay, I'm feeling what could be cute is, if I can find it, it's actually even there. Oh, I could put on my new, my new lilac. Oh, that's really, I know what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear this set that I got from Super Dry. Haven't wore it yet, but it's literally the comfiest thing I've ever, seen, I've ever wore in my life. Tried it on. It's just like the low rise jogger kind of things, but the, the feel, like the dream and then they've got the matching little top i think that would be really cute and warm and comfortable i'll try it on and we'll see it might be a bit too restricting but i think it'll be fine i'm not feeling for the cinema let's try something else <laughs> okay i'm going for the first thing i thought i should wear it's just a little rumba i just think it's nice and comfy and i'll put a big hoodie on top i think um what hoodie should i put on a big gray one could be cute. Why is all of my clothes so creased? Because I put them creased in my bag. Probably the reason. Comfy? I think so. I think it looks very comfy. Creased? Yes. But it's gonna be dark. I'll just stretch the creases out. Kinda worked. I don't know if I'm just stretching my jumper off my shoes. Put some socks on. I'm gonna have to wear Uggs because, I mean, reality, what other shoes is better to wear at the cinema than a pair of Uggs? I'm truly gone. <laughs> Comfort. Cute, and then some other boots. Okay, the top is super creased. I didn't realize how creased it actually is. But also, I just think, is it that big of a deal? Do I look cozy and cinema-like? Can you imagine me with popcorn in one hand? in a tango wise plastic in the other. <laughs> I was like, I'm free. Also, I get really scared. I don't know if anyone else thinks this. I have this like irrational fear of like randomly coming on my period or like sitting in chocolate and it getting all over my bottoms. If you're my friend, okay, in real life, I know we're friends, I mean in, in real life, you'll know that 99% of the time after I stand up from anywhere, I'll say like, oh, we just check my bum as I walk past. So I'll like run forward and I'm like, you just check my back. And then like, I'll run and they'll go like, yeah, you're good. Because I just have this really weird fear that there's going to be something on my bum. But when you wear black, it doesn't matter if something's on my bum. I can sit in all the chocolate I want and it won't look like I pooed myself. Which is nice. It makes it comfy. And I think the headband kind of pulls it together. I mean, I'm not a style icon today, am I really? But who cares? I want to put my watch on too, just because it's got this cute thing where you can press the button and the light comes on. So in the cinema, if I don't want to check the time, I can just go beep. But it's like a green light so it won't distract other members of the audience. I'm really excited to see Avatar as well. I feel like I haven't... Oh no, is the match ending? I think I'm choosing to leave as the match is ending. No. Oh, I can see those of people. Mm. Horrendous. I hate, I hate leaving my apartment when there's been a match on. Because it's about a billion male hooligans. And men terrify me, can't lie. Oh, I'm so silly. I wouldn't have gone through if I'd known that. Oh, right. Wish me luck. Let's go have fun at the cinema and watch some blue people swim underwater and stuff. I think that's what it's about. I'm literally pooing myself. About to get there now. I feel sick. I think I've been really dramatic. Oh. Later. Oh my god, that was heartbreaking. Incredible though, amazing film. Oh. Hey guys, just at Manchester Film Festival. <laughs> that was literally incredible. Can't believe it took me that long to go see it and I actually loved going on my own. It was nice because I felt like I was 100% focused on the film because sometimes when, you, when you're with people like, you might get distracted or you might just like 
I don't know. It's nice because I like fully was just 100% on the film and it was just incredible. But I did feel a little bit sad at the end when I was sobbing and I had no one to like laugh with me. Back safe and sound. Had a lovely time. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Love you always.